Ahoy mates! I be Captain Potamus Redbeard! Alright, I Nancy Gum! Yeah, welcome aboard the Sorcy Sausage as we take to the high seas once more. To take a great plunder at Jack Sparrow on his next adventure, Dead Man's Chest. Ahoy there, Camera Witch! What can I do for you out here? Alright, read him off an introduction. Released in 2006, Deadmon's Chest significantly ups the ante on this pirate caper, as the fate of all piracy is threatened by the aggression of the East Indian Trading Company, not to mention the return of the legendary Flying Dutchman and her captain, the Lord of the Seas himself, Davy Jowens. So without further ado, we give ye Pirates of the Caribbean Deadman's Chest. Tis a vile day on Port Royal, as Lizzie Swan and Will Turner be hauled up in front of the authority of corporate Britain. Tis while I sails the coast of West Africa, not a plunder, but a protect. I, as that dashing old Captain Jack Sparrow makes his entrance, he be having no clues he's heading. Set sail that way, direction. Back on land, that. Build your evil cutler, Beckett. Head of East India Company. Aren't no truck we're making. Will Turner is stooge. The world is shrinking. The blank edges of the map filled in. Cutler, Beckett. As in my opinion, as the world needs less of his kind. Business, expansion, growth. A fester in pox in these concepts, says I. Back on the Pearl Jack, we are to search for rum. Why is the rum always gone? It ends up finding a ghost. Time to run out, Jack. Warning be enough to put the pearl green. We're a master turner, chances upon it. Our voluminous swan be placing no stock in will, and lost the spirit is the off, which goes about as well as you'd be expecting. Evening, Governor. Section, of course, Al is in the abroad after me or not. I'll still want that compass. And where's the tale of Davy Jones? So others are risking his own net. Jack Moon's will and shipwrecks to contact Flying Dutchman. Which goes about as well as you'd be expecting. As in to all this, the man himself, Davy Jones. Jack Sparrow sent me to settle his debt. So a bargain we made, we all to tell too bad! One hundred souls, three days. And the remnants are shining naval privilege. Tis satisfying to see the oil and mighty fall of this. Arr, arr. Free word, the place to be. Oh, I'm free wrong. Aboard the Dutchman, a family turner can be reconciled. And we discover another thread of this knotted sail. Open the chest with the key and stab the heart. Yar, this one be more twisty and turny of a story than the Panama Canal. A game of dice reveals where Davy Jones keeps his keys. This leads Master Will to do something stupid. But just as Master Will thinks he'd be escaping... has been spotted. Carlos, she isn't flying any. Jones brings to for his pet, the Kraken. So the Pearl Reeks land 
Now that you have reached this very laser action spectacular rally, it's going to be in chest. It will return to the frame. I'm going to kill Jones. I can't let you do that either. No! S B war ye be needing the scorecard. Masters Pintel and Regain, if it need be so kind. Well, each wants a chest for himself, don't he? Sends his R's to recover the chest. Arr! Why did Jack be having this little idea? The glue! Except that one won't plan either. Back aboard the Pearl, we brace as the Dutchman attacks. Set in that with the wind, the Pearl be nigh uncatchable. Which brings out the Kraken again. The Pearlers trace to fight it. But Jack eventually cops to his fate. She's only a ship, mate. With a mite of coaxing from Lizzie, of course. Hello, beastie. But in case you forget, they're not only really dropping that chest now. The Pearlers gather to mourn their lost ship and captain, but there may yet be out of returning him. Yeah. So that were Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Oh, I fear as I cannot bear this cargo aboard me ship, oh love. This movie is convoluted. There are three sides and several subplots. And they mishmash and crisscross, and if you're not paying attention for a moment, the whole thing just sinks. This said, there's still plenty of humour, pathos, and a touch of heart-rending drama in this second instalment of the Turner Trilogy. The performances be as fine as ever, Captain Jack being the thing on his feet, he's scalawag and all the Caribbean. Will Turner actually turn it in a driven newt, having himself an actual plot this time. And we had to give a pretty yar to Kevin McNally's Josh Me Gibbs, a finer first mate near high sea. It may be knotted tighter than an old piece of sail rope, but a bad movie it is not. So I thank the me lovelies for joining the I Am Party on this here adventure. Yar, ye wicked wench, ye be grown hungry familiar. Let's oh, just yeah. end this. Thanks for watching, see you next time for At World's End. So long, folks. Yeah, right. Be on your way.